Alrighty, time for the next heat race of the day. Tag Light and Heavy make their way out onto the circuit. Just wait for the last one to come out. And once again, I will stick them all into one class. I know there's only one, I think, light car in there. Let's have a look who it is. It is, uh, in fact, Johnny Wells. So Johnny Wells is the, uh, the light guy in amongst all these heavies. And Johnny is going to have some fun, I think, and uh, start at the back. Where was he going? He was off on the grass. It was Johnny Wells? I think he understeered straight through already. These are the tag light and heavies in one. Queer Donnelly out of two. Alexander Waters from three. Tan Ether from four. Brendan Scorgi from five. Matty Nipperus from six. Michael Allen from seven. James Ordish from eight. Lance Horn and from nine. Johnny Wells, the light cart. The rest are heavies. Do we go green? We're watching those lights. We are green and away we go. One roll up, that was all it took and they are into racing. And they all go through turn one cleanly. Was it Ordish? Let's have a look when they come back towards me. It is the number 61, Connolly. Sorry, Donnelly. <laughs> Donnelly gets the whole shot. Looks like it's the same battle as he won as Donnelly now leads them through. And Waters has gone with it. Tan either chasing all the way up the hill. Through they go, through the hairpin at the top, undulating up there as they go. Eight meters of elevation, 1.1K, and back they'll come to do another one of those. Through they go, turn one, heading down through the dipper now. And still it is. The leader, the number 61, Donnelly leads from Waters. Where is Ordish? Because Ordish at the moment, number five, is showing us leading this race on timing. Not quite right, but I can tell you that is definitely Donnelly and Waters. Where is the number five? There it is. So Ordish somehow is showing us leading. That is not the case. So unfortunately the timing has gone a little bit awry again in this one. We'll ignore it as they come back down the hill. Donnelly still with Waters for company. Through they go. Right behind them, whoa, puff of dust from the 37. Tan either chasing through turn one. Down into the dipper they head. Back up the hill now, look at this. Donnelly and Waters goes inside. New leader, Waters gets it done. Is he gonna give it back? Yes, he does, he gives it back. I think that may be redressing the bump and run, so great sportsmanship. Well done. Well, he let it run through, but that may in a four way. May not have been the best time to make it. He had two laps to do it. He decided to do it immediately, and now he's getting swamped. Tan either all over him. And is that Allen who's gone with him as well? I think it is. Michael Allen right on the back of that train, too. The four way then. Now starting to wind up. Through they go, through the left hand of turn one. Down they go into the dipper. Up the hill they will come. Into PCR. Still. Johnny. Waters. Eva. Allen. Oh, 57. That was Scorgy going up the inside. Did he make it stick though, no, Scorgy? No, he didn't. So Matthew Nipper has held him off and still he holds him off all the way to the top of the hill. This will be four laps completed and the four at the front cannot be divided. So they come through the chicane, over the bump, over the second bump, miss the third. Whoa, they hit it on the exit. Through turn one, whoa, this is anybody's. This really is a cracker. We've got a ding dong on our hands. Up they come. Still, Donnelly, Waters, whoa, look how close that is. Either, and Alan, oh, Nipperus, 30 for 30. 
Michael Nipperus went dirty, sorry, Matty Nipperus went dirty for 30 and nearly lost it. And that's good, Scorgey. Scorgey nearly side by side. Wow, he can't get him now. Up the hill, Nipperus holds on. Scorgey looks to make a move. Doesn't go this time. Nipperus, after that mistake, held on to P5. Down the hill they come. Still leading. Waters now has got it. Waters has gone to the lead. Waters assumes the lead on lap number five. Waters then, can he hold on? Because Donnelly is gonna come back at him for sure. Either, as well as Alan, looking racy. Nipper is trying to catch him. Yeah, Nipper is still scorchy, then Horn. As they come up the hill, past me. There goes Nipper. Then Chip Horn is scorching on. So Scourge is gone, and Wellesley comes round now, dead last at the moment for Johnny. So Johnny Wells comes up the hill now, the only light guy, remember. Up the hill he goes, while the leaders already head down into turn one. Puff of dust once more. That is six laps completed. Scourge will be fuming with himself, the cart stopping, and still, Waters, Donnelly, either, Alan, Nipperus, then Ordish, followed by Lance Horn. Ordish now coming up this hill with Lance Horn trying to chase him, but Ordish has a big, big gap. Won't be caught from there. Well, the leader's already ahead, but at the top. Now they will see the boogie board. They are about to see one lap to go. The last lap boogie board is shown. This is it. It's now or never for Waters and Donnelly to get the win in this one. Who will it be? Round they come back towards me through. PCR. He's not out of this either. As it comes through, now the long climb. Will it be Donnelly or will it be Waters? Waters at the moment is in the box seat. Waters looks like he's got it. Three car men's gap going up the hill. Looks over the shoulder. Comfortable through the hairpin. And down they come. And it is tag, light and heavy. Give it up. Your winner. Give it up. Waters! Second, Colin Donnelly. Third, Tanny. The fourth, Michael Allen. Fifth was James Ordish. Sixth was Lance Horn. Seventh will be Johnny Wells. So, where's Nipperus gone? Nipperus was in there in front, sorry, of uh, Ordish. So, well done to Nipperus. 